Seek and you will find. Luke chapter 11 verse 9 Seek if you have not found. You ask and do not receive because you ask amiss. James chapter 4 verse 3 If you ask for things from life instead of from God, you ask amiss. That is, you ask out of your desire for self-fulfillment. The more you fulfill yourself, the less you will seek God. Seek and you will find. Get to work. Narrow your focus and interest to this one thing. Have you ever sought God with your whole heart? Or have you simply given Him a feeble cry after some emotionally painful experiences? Seek focus, and you will find. Ho! Everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 1 Are you thirsty or complacent and indifferent, so satisfied with your own experience? that you want nothing more of God? Experience is a doorway, not a final goal. Beware of building your faith on experience, or your life will not ring true and will only sound the note of a critical spirit. Remember that you can never give another person what you have found, but you can cause him to have a desire for it. Knock, and it will be opened to you. Luke chapter 11 verse 9 Draw near to God. James chapter 4 verse 8 Knock, the door is closed, and your heartbeat races as you knock. Cleanse your hands. Knock a bit louder. You begin to find that you are dirty. Purify your heart. It is becoming even more personal. You are desperate and serious now. You will do anything. Lament Have you ever lamented expressing your sorrow before God for the condition of your inner life? There is no threat or self-pity left, only the heart-rending difficulty and amazement which comes from seeing what kind of person you really are. Humble yourselves. It is humbling experience to knock at God's door. You have to knock with the crucified thief. To him who knocks it will be opened. Luke chapter 11 verse 10.